Hello, hello. Good morning and happy Woman Up Wednesday. We are so excited to see you joining us today. We have a couple of our wave makers joining us. And we are going to be talking about productivity via tech tips. So if you have a tech tip that you'd like to share, we'd love to hear it. I also just wanted to tease that I was uh, out looking at venues for Woman Up, and we are hopeful that by the time we get to reimagine, we will be able to announce our location and what that looks like. So keep your fingers crossed that everything goes okay with that. Um, so we will go ahead and get started. My name is Melanie McShane. I'm the Director of Industry Relations here at the California Association of Realtors. I also have uh, my colleague, Megan McDonald, who is part of the Woman Up team and um, my right hand. Um, also joining us are Kama Burton and Claudia Diaz, who are two of our wave makers. Um, but this is really um, meant to be a very interactive session. So um, after they've shared their tech tips, hi, Leslie. We also have Leslie Appleton-Young joining us as well. Um, so hopefully she'll share a tech tip as well. Um, so if you have a te tech tip that you would like to share, um, we would love for you to raise your hand and share as well. So um, Kama, let's start with you. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much. Well, I will say for my business, uh, I, what's really helped me to be honest is Facebook Lives. People love to see what you're doing in the moment. And I know there's a lot of people that have this fear of the camera. We're always concerned about what we look like, if our makeup is right, if our hair is right. You know what, we don't live like robots, okay? So people wanna see who you are with or without the makeup. They want to see the, uh, authenticity of who you are. So what I do is I have this thing and I tell people don't do as I do, <laughs> find, find something else maybe, but I do something called roll with me. And in the mornings I'm out there and I'm, I'm driving to work and I'm looking at the road. Yes, I am. And I give, I just talk from my heart, whether it's something empowering, something inspiring, something that have to do with real estate. And I, I mix it up because a lot of times people tell you, just talk, just talk business, People don't want to hear that all the time. They want to hear something that will help them in their business. They want to hear or help them in life. They want to um, hear from people that will uh, just let them know that you're real, a real person selling real estate, you know, going through real life things. So my lives have helped me so much that it's actually brought me business. It's helped me stay consistent. Uh, people look for it. Matter of fact, it's almost, it's part of my branding. When people see me, they tell me, oh, come, I'll roll with you. You know, or I was walking with you. I'll either drive or I'll walk. I'm trying to do more walking than driving. Uh, but it's something that helped me with my business and uh, it's technology and I'm embracing technology. It's here. It's not going anywhere. Um, there's a lot of people that still have this mindset of, I don't want to be seen. Guess what? If you don't want to be locked, go live. There's other options out there as well. I'm doing more with reels. I'm doing more with stories. They don't have to see your face, but take pictures, talk behind that. There's a lot that you can do that can help grow you and you still become that social person that you need to be, that people can see you. So um, there's, there's options out there and I'll leave you guys with this. I hear a lot of people say how they're afraid of social media, but yet and still they have social media accounts that they're on and they're scrolling for hours watching other people become successful in their business. Do it afraid. Do it afraid. Embrace things. Right now our business is going through a lot of changes and I know a lot of people aren't getting it because they have not embraced the fact that we are going through change. So embrace technology, put it out there, let the people know you're there for them. So that way they will call you um, for your business. And guess what you can do with that as well? You can take that same video, you can put it in a blog, you can put it in a newsletter, you can put, it's so much you can do to repurpose it to help you be out there, but use technology, use some type of video system um, that you can use, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, so you can build your business. That's it. That, that was perfect, Kama. Thank you so much. 
and I have rolled with Kama myself. Um, I love jumping on when she's walking and she can acknowledge us when she's not driving. I think we all get afraid when we do see her, <laughs> her driving in the car. We want to make sure she's safe. Um, but I do love um, that Kama is bringing authenticity um, to social media. And I can tell you, uh, if you are interested in learning more about this, we have a social media influencer, I believe it is, by the name of Andrew Jevin, who will be at YPN Ignite, um, talking specifically about authenticity and Instagram and how he used it to build his real estate business. So um, commas, commas speaking the truth right there. Um, Claudia, how about you? Hi, good morning, everyone. Pleasure to be here. And uh, just as, as as you, Melanie, I walked in, I rolled with Kama, uh, seeing her um, throughout. It's been it's been a good year, I think. Yeah. And it's enjoyable. And actually, mine relates to getting in shape or staying healthy. I know we're always running around either now with uh, with with business or either with leadership. We end up moving a lot, traveling, and sometimes we don't take care of our health. We don't drink the liquids we should and our body, our body, either we're flying or doing something and it just kind of gets out of that balance, right? Especially trying different foods and everything. So mine today is staying healthy. Um, the apps that I use or uh, that a lot of people may also use is like the Galaxy Watchable, the Apple Watch. Um, my, my kids gave me my, the Samsung Watch, which helped me. And then I also have on my phone, it's called the Pedometer. So it's a, a free app that counts all of my steps. So my objection that my objection that I try to do at least maybe four times a week is try to take those walks. Um, and I try to get in maybe 8,000 steps in the day. Um, sometimes I could only shoot for 5,000, which is maybe two miles, two miles. But as long as I, you know, you get that going, it is great to, to use whatever apps, whatever tech that you can use. But to me, that's what has helped me um, help me try to stay as healthy. Uh, I'm, it's, it's, it's a work in progress as we know, but, uh, that's the best that, that has helped me as far as using my, my techie app, which is my pedometer that's on my phone. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that, Claudia. I love, I love that it's not a, you know, app that's maybe, you know, most people don't think of it as per productivity for your business, but if you're not healthy, you're not productive. So um, staying healthy is definitely important. So I see that we have been joined by Kathy Somerville. Um, thank you so much for jumping on, Kathy. Do you have a tech tip for us this morning? You're, you're well, coming from the heart of technology. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because um, I, was, I was actually on a call early this morning and we were talking about innovation and creativity and about how in this day and age, how it's how to innovate and, and not so much pivot, but he talked about the innovation and, cre and creativity end of it. And in getting ready for, for this, I was sitting there thinking, what technology helps me to innovate? What technology gives me the opportunity to, to not, not just pivot, but really kind of grow and create from there? And the funny thing about me is like, I'm all things Apple, right? Forgive me for being a little late to this because whether it be my phone, my computer, my Mac at home, my watch, I feel more like I'm prodded then I'm, then I'm reminded, right? Everything seems to go off at the same time from my AirPods to my phone and to my watch as to, to tell me to remind me to do things. And so what I've learned is to use technology to do the basics, which is if it gets written down, it gets done. So underneath all of that, I have my day timer with different color ink, right? And then there's, there's the things that I write in red and the things that I write in blue and the things that I write in pencil, because I've learned the hard way on both sides of the equation that sometimes maybe is really just a no without the confidence to say no. And that a yes can turn into a tentative maybe until it gets written down. So I've learned to kind of reverse technology being the baby boomer. If I write it down, it gets done. If it goes into anything electric, it gets prodded and reminded to get done. And then to stay on course with that and to stay, I love, I love it I, with the no like and trust with everything out of, um, out of post and beam is the idea is consistency is a new sexy. 
So what is it that's going to help me be the most consistent in delivering my messages? And I do that. So I use technology to keep it simple and to remind me what's important and to what to do next. So that's that's my technology tip. But I've heard everything from from you know K, KV core to to Inman. But I for me, once I start confusing myself with too many options. I get, I, I, I enter into that easily distracted zone. So I put perimeters around my technology and I use it to get the job done. So that's me. And I, you know, I hate to be so vague because I was hoping that somebody with um, all of the right buttons to push would be my, my salvation in this business. And I find out that I have gone broke buying too many buttons to push. <laughs> So keep it simple with your technology, find out what works best for you and make sure you stay consistent to it. So that's it. Thank you, Melanie. Amen. Thank you, Kathy. I, I totally agree with you. I One of the biggest challenges that I always had as a realtor was all of the incoming communication flows. And I, I'm, I was always looking for how do I remember, did that come in via Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger? Was it an email? Was it a text? Was it a phone call? Like I could not ever figure out how to streamline the communication stream. So um, Leslie's got her hand raised. So I'm excited to hear what Leslie has to share. Well, I have, I have two things. And one is really um, bouncing off what Claudia was saying. And it's so true. Every, the tie between mental, physical, is, is just so acute. And um, I remember uh, one of my mentors at CAR once said, you know, if I'm physically strong, I'm mentally strong. And it's very hard to kind of keep that going the other way. So I have, I have a really high tech thing to share first and it's called a book, it has pages. You can open it up, it's very mobile, you can take it anywhere. And um, I found this book to be well worth, I, I actually listened to it. And now I'm going to go back and do my um, very high tech highlighting because I'm a visual learner, but it's called Life Reimagined, um, The Science, Art and Opportunity of Midlife by Barbara Bradley Haggerty, who worked for, uh, was a journalist for a reporter for NPR for about 20 years. She was their religion reporter and then all kinds of interesting other stories, you know, and, and she was a bike rider and so on. So every chapter is a is a great nugget and it ties into, you know, she goes, talks to doctors and she talks to long distance athletes and she talks to, I just found it really fascinating. And I did want to boil it down to the one thing that, that not she found, but the people that research this stuff found um, as you age. And she wrote this when she was 53. So many of you are prior to that, a few of you may be past that, but it's the whole kind of, let's look at where I am when I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Number one thing was cardio. It wasn't weights, it wasn't this, it wasn't that, but the number one is, is getting your heart going, right? And, and you can tell when you've got that because it gives you kind of a glow and the endorphins and all of that good stuff. So that's one high tech tip is read a book, and get your cardio in. The second thing is, I, I, I may or may not have mentioned this, but I am consulting now with um, FMLS, which is a large, one of the two largest uh, F, uh, MLSs in, in Georgia. And they approached me and I was originally like, I'm retired, you know, and then I was like, you know, this would be really fun. So I'm, I'm starting to do this and I'm working on slides. And I don't have Jordan or Oscar to do my slides anymore. Like I've got to update slides from the last speech I did two years ago. And I'm, I don't have a subscription to conference board to get consumer confidence. I mean, it's taking me forever to do like one slide. And then I remember Bernice Ross and her comments about chat GBT and how you can't even get her to stop talking about chat GBT. It's changed her life so much. And so what do I do? I'm like, oh, I downloaded it already. It's free. And I'm like, consumer confidence, monthly data, 2000 to two, 2020 to 2000. And honestly, within a minute, 
there it was. And I mean, I started screaming. I was like, I have a research assistant in ChatGPT. And I know that many of you are already using it, but if you're not, don't be afraid. It's really, have fun with it, but it can really help you write stuff. So um, I'm happy to see everybody. And those are my two, my two tips. <laughs> That is fantastic. Thank you, Leslie. You always have the very best book recommendations. Um, so you know, e everybody should read any book that Leslie ever recommends. Um, so that that is that is my advice for you today. Um, I also agree. ChatGPT is a handy right hand uh, for those of us that don't feel like we have strong writing skills. ChatGPT helps enhance, and you can take out some of the fluff that it puts in there. Um, but I'm going to ask Megan if she can share the video that was submitted to us uh, by Lori Namazi, one of our other wave makers. So hopefully we can we can share Lori's tip as well. Hello, Woman Up community. I'm Lori Namazi from Namazi Real Estate Resources. And I love the question of what's your favorite technology? So I'm pretty tech savvy, but I am not a app nerd. I do not go on the hunt for any apps. I'm kind of a creature of habit. I use what I know I will use. So my tip to you is use what you're actually going to use. Don't get blinded by the shiny object, the new and latest and greatest exciting thing. Really just hone in on what you actually need. And there are a ton of other resources that you can use that are free, that are maybe a little bit old school. But if that's your speed, so be it. That's my speed sometimes, so be it. And so I do have one that is my favorite. And honestly, it's YouTube. When I am stuck, when I have a brilliant idea and wonder how do I do it, I go to YouTube. And today, as a matter of fact, I had, I had taken a course and learned how to embed videos into a learning management software. And I thought, I wonder if I could do that in email. Instead of just putting in a link, can I embed it into the email? And guess what? You can. Because I YouTubed it, and in five minutes, I learned how to do it. Now, I didn't do it exactly the way I wanted, so I've got to look again. But what I was able to do was actually really cool and I was really happy with it. So just keep it simple. That's my tip. Thanks. So thank you to Lori for sharing her tip. And I'm going to uh, ask my colleague uh, who we just hired and is new to the Woman Up team uh, to come on, and her name is Kimberly Lizarraga. Some of you may know her. She um, was an affiliate for many years before joining CAR, so she is new to the Woman Up team, and she's going to come on and give us a tech tip as well. So we just need Kimberly to turn on her camera, and we should be able to see her. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Kimberly Lizarga here, um, now with CAR as your new industry relations specialist. Thank you so much, Melanie, for having, having me jump on here. I'm so excited to be here um, and share with you guys um, a little tech tip that I just recently experienced, um, but Leslie had actually mentioned one of my um, tech tips that I was going to throw in there, which was the chat GPT. So thank you, Leslie, that is a game changer. So I totally agree with you. But um, recently, I experienced uh, some um, technical issues with my internet. And I'm just here to remind everyone to make that phone call because I was actually contacted multiple times in the past couple weeks. Um by someone from AT&T that tried to sell me a new upgraded modem. And um, I said, no, thankfully, you know, said no, but um, cause they wanted to charge me for this upgrade and um, it didn't seem right. So after a couple of weeks, I was like, you know what? My internet has been kind of choppy and everything. And um, 
So I actually made the phone call. I made the phone call. I reached out to at and I have fiber. I've had it for almost 10 years or when it was released and I've never had really much issues. And um, apparently they do have new modems for, um, for, for members, but they don't charge. And the calls that I was receiving were actually not real at and people. So people are out there trying to scam. So just be careful. I wanted to share a little bit of a um, reminder on that because um, you just never know. It totally sounded like someone from at and um, Thankfully, I didn't feed into it, but just be aware and make that phone call to the actual company itself if you have any questions. So thanks again for having me. Um, I'm here to support everyone. And I'm so happy to be a part of CAR. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kimberly. Kathy, did you have a comment that you wanted to share? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. And, and forgive me because I made notes, but there's a, there's a, and I'll find it before this is over. There's a video. And I, okay, I'll, I'll back up. First of all, I love chat GPT because, and it's not that artificial intelligence when it's when it's peppered with authentic insights, gives you the courage to stand up and say what's on your mind. So when I sit there and I type in everything that I want to say without editing myself, and I put it all in there, and then hit the button, it's like, oh my goodness, it's right, Leslie, it's like we have our own cleanup team right there. So I was under the impression that it wouldn't be my authentic voice if I used artificial intelligence. And then I remembered the other AI is authentic insights into that gives you the opportunity for me, the courage to stand up and speak into that, into that space. And so I, I love that for that sake only. I also want to say that, you know, in, in talking about um, videos, there is a video company and I'm going to find the name and put it forth in this thing. Cause I think it's amazing where it uses AI. So you would put in your content that you want to say, and even download maybe some of yours, if you go for the paid version, download some of your own shots that you want to put in and create a one minute video. All I have to say is give me a one minute video with this information using this collateral and then put it up there. And again, one, it gives me the courage to get out from behind my own overthinking and go out into the world. And two, it gives me a platform to where I'm comfortable with and I get more comfortable as I go through. So I think that particular video company, I'm gonna look it up. Uh, so excuse me if I look like I'm blank in the face, but I wanna be able to pass that forward because I think it's a phenomenal tool for all of us. We're just, we're the type, we know so much and we have so much to share with people that if we can get out of our way if we can use technology to get out of our own way to put our voice into the world, it'll change the trajectory of our industry. And I, I love this. So um, I'm here for you, but I'm going to be looking on my schedule to find out what the name of that company is. I was, I was just going to ask Kama. I know that um, she and I were both at a conference uh, where Marky, Marky Lemons was sharing some information. Do you remember the name of that that program that she shared that yes. um, was it was journey was one and I cannot think of because as she was talking Marky came to mid, mind mid journey mid, mid journey, journey right yeah mid journey was one I think that was the the video one where you can put the information in and put it together I believe it was if not I can look in my while we're here I can look in my um in my notebook actually since you called on me I am going to I, I was grabbing my bag. So I have, like, as Leslie was talking as well, there's a couple of things that came to mind. So for one, Canva is like my best friend and I have Canva on my phone. I have it on my laptop, which I do a lot on my laptop. But what I love about it is that you can create so many different things from pamphlets. I have a virtual assistant and she created some beautiful um, uh, templates on Canva. Um, so that was great for, uh, I said templates, trifold, trifolds, flyers. You can do your listing presentation. You can brand it to yourself. Um, and these are things that people, I think when we get out of the mindset of saying what I can't do, 
then you can really, like I talked about embracing, I hear people always say, I don't have time for that. I can't do that. Okay. If you don't have time, hire somebody to help you provide them with the tool to do so. Otherwise you're, you're putting yourself out of, out of disservice. I'm not the greatest with the trifo, but Hey, I hired a virtual assistant and she's the greatest with it. So now I have the best of both worlds, right? So using Canva is huge. You can even do videos in Canva. You can do reels in Canva. You can do all types of stuff in Canva. So that's a great tool that's helped me um, with my flyers for open houses and things like that. Also, this is my little techie thing. It has, it has all kinds of stuff on here. Oh, it's backwards. But this, I call this my best friend. Now, this is my real best friend. Now, this here is called a Remarkable. Here I house, and it's, oh, my thing is blurry, but here is where I house all of my uh, paperwork. So when I go to my CAR meetings, my NAR meetings, any committee I'm on, everything is housed in here. I don't have to use paper and I have a stylist, which I left at home. I'm shocked because I never do that. My first time ever in the last year and a half, two years I've had this. You can write on it. You can highlight, you can put books in here and read from it. It is so much that you can do. We don't have to walk around with paper. When I'm out with my clients, I can upload the flyer on this and then make notes and things like that. It's so much you can do. I think every agent needs a Remarkable. It is, um, it's got the Remarkable itself is like 300 bucks. But my friend, I talked to her about getting this and she was hesitant. She bought it. And I'll tell you every time, almost every time I talk to her, she was like, she's always thanking me. Kama, thank you so much. Thank you so much. From signing paperwork to all types of things that you can upload. And it has great, great uh, um, capacity for memory. Oh my gosh. If you ever see me and you want to see the Remarkable, use it. I don't get paid for it. I know I sound like I'm a spokesperson, but <laughs> this piece of technology goes a long way. Um, and you don't have to write, you don't ever have to worry about uh, working with a notebook because I'm a handwriter and I write everything on here and it's the same feel, the same everything. And I don't have 50 million pages and it has file where you can file it. So it keeps you consistent. It keeps you disciplined. It keeps you in order. And it is a great, great thing. So it is a tablet. Yes, I see somebody ask. It's called a Remarkable. So if you go to remarkable.com, you can see it. Um, and uh, you cannot buy it off of Amazon. You cannot buy it in the stores. You can only buy it at Remarkable, but you can buy the stylist and the um you know, the cover, you can buy that off of uh, off of Amazon. I suggest you get the cover off of Amazon because it's expensive. So it's going to cost you about 300 bucks, but it's it it was worth it. My office, they gifted it to me um, a year or two, a couple of years ago. And that has been probably one of the best gifts I've ever had. So that's a piece of technology I think every realtor should have. I, I remember seeing Kama using it and I asked her about it. And what I loved that she shared was that it is a distraction free way. You know, so many people will use their phone to take notes and then you get distracted by that text coming in or something else or the email that pops up. And I love that you shared that that was a distraction free way to capture all of your thoughts. I, I do feel like I saw that for sale at a Staples. So I don't know if it's a different version it's or not. It's probably a different version. Check Staples to see if they carry it. Uh, when I looked at it, I looked everywhere. I could not find it. Uh, but check Staples and see if they have it. Because these things rarely go on sale. Uh, they just came out with the type, you know, like a keyboard. But I don't, I like to write. I, I don't like to type um, unless it's on my computer. But that's an option as well. And uh, I think there's, oh, somebody I think there's said science. Amazon has it. Okay. So that makes I think sense. That I think there's science them. about um, you know the the difference between writing and typing. You actually retain information better if you write it. So, uh, so I believe that uh, Gita has a tech tip for us. So she's joined us now on screen. Go ahead, Gita. Yeah. Okay. Hi. How? Well, thank you very much for all the information. They're helpful. Well, I'm Gita Amiri, and um, I know Leslie from long, long time ago. I've been in business thirty years, and uh, uh, one thing I like to mention that uh, recently I use a lot is Gemini, G E M I N I, and that's by Google. 
And it's just like a chat GPT. And not only I used it for my real estate, which, uh, for example, I had a client that says, okay, I want to buy a house up in uh, with the ocean view. And I said, how old are you? And then it says, oh, how old I am? And then I mentioned, well, you need to be 55. I know it's Proposition 90, but still I went to Gemini and right away in one minute or two minutes explained everything. And not only for real estate, I had a, I have a small gardening and I use for how can I grow my tomato? And it just just gave me all the information. Well, you, you're not supposed to water the tomatoes uh, on top, all the leaves, just the uh, roots. So that was really good. It's Gemini. It's by Google. Now, one other thing I like to know more, and that's I last year I noticed, my gosh, I have about 3,000 business cards. And I had to go like a two weeks every night to see if I need them, if they're old, what should I do? So I tried to organize them myself, but since I have my own business, it's very hard. So that would be very helpful if somebody can tell me what's the best tech to use all the business cards uh, that you have from the past. That's you know what, can I help you? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. I'm going to change my background real quick. So I have this thing called a popple. Okay. The popple is a e-card. It is probably the best thing I've ever had when it comes to um, a business card. If you click and scan my card, you're going to see everything about me from my email address. I have a video on there, all of my contact information and realtors, brokers, listen up. It's also a lead captioner. So what caption? So what happens is everybody that I that if you scan me right now, I'm looking to see if anybody scans me and puts your information in. Information will pop up, name, email address. You can do it however you want to. I put name, email address, telephone number, and a note, and I always say, "Let me know where I meet you." So what happens is I can then. What happens is Papa will send me a reminder tomorrow and say, "Did you follow up with?" Is it Gouda? Gu Gouda? Yes, Gita. Yes. Gita. So did you follow up with Gita? Also, what happens is, let's just say I forgot to follow up. I can go in in another three months, send something. It'll tell me the date I met you. And it'll say, hello, it's already prompted for you. Hello, Gita. Mm. I met you at on such and such in November. I hope we're able to connect. It is what I use. You can tap it. I have a business card size um, that's in my purse where I can tap it on somebody's phone or you can scan it. You see, it's my background. I didn't want to put it on here because, you know, we're doing this. But just to show you guys how it works, yeah. it is a great way for you to remember where you met people. Also, for anybody that does any presentations, you can add your presentation on here. So when I speak or train, I have my slides there and I have it in my slides. So that way, those people that were late, they can go and take a picture and I tell them, link. It's a great way to get people's information. So I advise everyone to get a popo um, if you can, okay. because it is a great way when you're, you know, I still have paper cards for when I go places and I want to drop them into a, like a bowl or something because I like to win stuff. But other than that, when it's business to business, popo, and it's all on your cell phone. And guess what? It gives you a chance to upload to your CRM. It connects with many of the CRMs. You can download it as a SCV, mm -hmm. SVS, whatever it's called, CVS, whatever it's called. It does a lot. So it's called Popo and it's P, somebody was asking, it's P-O-P-L dot co. So if you go to P-O-P-L dot co, or when you scan this, it's going to ask you to download it. You can download it. It has a free version. I have the upgraded version. It's like a hundred and something a year. And it's worth it because you get to connect, get referrals. People remember you. It's a, it's a great tool. Like I can talk about it for longer, but I, I'll let I just, I just put all my information. I don't yes. know if you see it. Yana. Yes. I just so think. what happened is now I have a, um, right now, I just had a few of you guys message me. And it's already on my email. It's already on my text message. And it says, hi, comma, here's a card we created for you. Kathy just connected. 
And then I click here and I can download all her information right onto my cell phone as well. And you're good to go. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, that's, that's good. I will work on that. Thank you. I, I love the live demonstration and all of these solutions. I believe, and maybe somebody else who is a bit more tech savvy than I am can uh, confirm this. I believe that you can scan business cards with your iPhone um, under the notes application. And I think that it will go into the contact, into the contacts. So I think, I think that you don't necessarily have to, um, you know, like you don't take a picture of it, but if you, if you go into the iPhone, into the notes app and scan it, I believe that it will create a contact card. So that's one way of taking those business cards and making the information usable. Um, so if probably somebody... more um, what she's saying, you almost can organize it as yeah. a, you know, and not mix it with the regular contacts because yep. we have everything on our contact. Well, thank you very much. It was very helpful. Of course. Thanks for, for jumping on. Um, I did see that Doug Ranger um, mentioned HeyGen.com. Um, he created avatars. Um, I don't know if Doug can tell us if that's a free or um, or give us any more information or if he wants to come on. Um, or um, Megan, do you see anybody else who wanted to jump on? We've still got about 15 minutes. You Megan, know, I have, you I have to tell you, Melanie, isn't it amazing? I mean, when technology hit in real estate, I thought a fax machine was technology that I, I was going to lose my mind over. Like, how can that happen? But everybody on this call that has spoken has talked about how we embrace it and move forward. I mean, I remember thinking, not my job, not my monkey, not my circus. But no, this is our job, conveying our ideas, being in, a, in an efficient way of communicating, understanding what works best. You know, I love the idea that here we are, women of substance and men of substance speaking in such a way that we don't mind leaning into the learning curve of technology because we know what's on the other side of that. So I am, this is thrilling to listening to the basics of why we do it with the technology to do it effectively. I, I no excuses. It's like Michelle yeah. Obama said last night, we've got work to do, you know, <laughs> there's work yes, to do. Yes, we do. Yeah, Estella shared in the chat, she scans her cards and organizes it um, and tries to keep her phone very organized. So she organizes it by the, the service that they offer. I think that's great. And Doug did share that HeyGen has a free version um, and you can get a creator account for $29 a month. Um, similar to Kama, I use something called Linktree. Um, but I think I like, uh, it sounds like, uh, Popple has more functionality. So I might, I might look at that. Um, so I'm excited to share or to, to, to learn more about that. So I'm going to, I'm going to see if Megan has any tech tips for us. Because <laughs> Me Megan, Megan is, is, uh, a different generation than I am. And so I know that different generations utilize technology differently. <laughs> so, um, Number one is always social media. Um, even if you don't want to be in front of the camera, um, there is the, I believe it's called Zillow 3D, where you can create your 3D tours um, and do voiceovers. And even in those voiceovers, you can get a bit, like you can give a bit of your personality. Um, so they know it's a real person behind, you know, the business. And um, it helps grow relationships. Um, another thing is just uh, just like Genesis, there's Microsoft Copilot. It does the same kind of thing as Genesis. So if you're not if you're not a fan of Google, which I don't think there's a lot of people out here who are not fans of Google, but <laughs> but uh, Microsoft Copilot is um, another good one. Um, and also one of my favorite marketing tools is Canva. Um, Canva is so easy to use and there's a free version and a paid version. The paid version, you get a little, 
a, well, a lot more perks, but they're Canva is just the best with their templates. You know, you can do your own business cards, your own flyers. And then even on your flyers, you're, you can create a barcode in Canva and put it on your flyer. So it's that's like really helpful, you know. So those are my top um, favorite things. And I also think doing lives like TikTok lives are, you know, because it's a younger generation. <laughs> But TikTok lives are really fun. Um, and then Facebook lives also, like my like comma mentioned earlier. But uh, those are really my tips for marketing. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Megan. And uh, Doug has been sharing more information about HeyGen. It sounds like HeyGen is very similar to um, and and. Comma did find, I think, what I was asking about. I think it's Studio D slash ID. Um, it sounds like it's very similar to what Hey Jen does. Uh, Doug shared, you can make a video showing an avatar. So, you know, Marky did it on the fly during this conference that we were at, where she said, you know, and she was doing it about National French Fry Day. Um, and so she said, you know, create a young boy sitting at a diner eating French fries. And then she put in a script for him. Um, and so it sounds like, you know, it will create the avatar uh, and then it will read the script that you provide to it. So that's pretty fantastic. And then Claudia also shared uh, WhatsApp. That WhatsApp is fantastic um, for both international communication as well as, uh, you know, domestic communication. I know my son's water polo team, we created a WhatsApp WhatsApp group. And that was a great way, you know, so if you've got a group of people, I know when I was traveling internationally, creating a WhatsApp group so that you can quickly check in. Um, but that's, that is a great thing. Um, and Doug Ranger has an avatar that looks like him. So who else has tech tips before we wrap up for the day? Claudia, did you want to share anything else? No, I know the Gemini, I uh, the Gemini that um, Kupta mentioned earlier. That's really good for. I, I've spoken with people that have um, that that English is their second language, and what they like about Gemini is that it becomes you're able to put it more in a natural way, versus Chat GTP, where it comes out professionally. And as much as you try to tell them English is my second language, please make it sound, you know, just a little more natural than like maybe words that that uh were that don't apply or we're not used to using uh i know that that's had that has had help many international um members uh to use that the gemini and then with whatsapp as as as, as well as we travel and uh, as long as you have internet or even internet on your phone um whatsapp is a way a great way to communicate and avoid all all of those uh long distance phone calls whether you're here trap we're here in the us uh, calling to anyone in the Caribbean or any part of the world and vice versa. And I think that WhatsApp is one of the ones that does have stronger encryption. So it's a little bit safer to use. Um, you just reminded me, um, my husband travels to Japan quite frequently and he is not a native Japanese speaker. So when he goes into restaurants, one of the tools he likes to use is Google Translate. So that's a great um, tool to use if you are traveling internationally and can't necessarily decipher what menus or information on the subway or the metro might say. Um, and then I was just going to add sort of a couple of additional, um, you know, chat GPT type of applications. Um, there's two additional ones. I've been using Claude.ai and it's C-L-A-U-D-E dot A-I. It's another uh, program similar to chat GPT. To me, it feels a little less fluffy and uh, verbose than chat GPT. Um, and it is uh, created by a company called Perplexity. Um, and uh, Perplexity is another great app um, that is sort of to me, it feels like sort of a competitor to Google. Um, so you can come in and you can ask questions um, to perplexity, um, but it, it is also a chat GPT, you know, it's an AI company as well. So those are two applications that I've been using um, as resources as well. 
And just real quick, Melanie, I found the name of the video company that used that is so easy with AI and it's Visla, V-I-S-L-A. And uh, check that out. They have a free version, but it's fun. It's fun to play with. It's easy. And then um, $20 a month gets you um, different other other things. So that I put that in the chat as well. So Perfect. Thank you. And Megan and I will work on putting together a summary of all of the great tech tips um, and all the different um, providers and things that have been shared. Kind of curious, um, we also found a list that Housing Wire shared um, on some vetted um, different applications. I know when I was active as a realtor, I used BombBomb. Is anybody using BombBomb anymore for video? I know it was, it used to be expensive, but it sounds like they've gone to a sort of a, a less expensive um, monthly pricing plan. That was always a fun way to, you know, easily communicate, um, you know, and put your face on camera and share information. Um, so BombBomb Bomb is um, a great, a great option. Uh, they have Copilot on their um, Zillow 3D Homes, Canva's on their list. Um, what else? Follow up boss, anybody using follow up boss? No, but I'll tell you, I'm using the wise agent. Uh, I just started using them recently and I was looking for a CRM I'm looking high and low and wise agent is absolutely it. Um, if anybody has questions about it, you can ask, uh, but uh, wise agent. Wise agent. Hands down, yeah. Good to know. There's something called Curb Hero. I have not heard of this one before. It says it is free and you can use it for open house sign-in and marketing. Mm -hmm. um, touchless QR code, open house sign-in forms, customizable questions in the free version. Um, so that's that's something you might wanna check out, Curb Hero. Uh, what else do we have in here? Curious if anybody else in our attendees, I see there's a question about how much Wise Agent is costing you. 49 a month. It's not bad. Um, Melanie, I did want to just talk about the translation too. I don't know how, I'm an Android person because I don't do the eye stuff. <laughs> Same we have great pictures, um, but I will say with our our recent up our recent uh, updates, they actually have put in AI options um, through your text. Also, they have a translation, so now we're able to communicate. If someone comes in a different language, we can actually communicate, and it'll translate for us. Now, I probably won't use it because. I don't know it personally, and I know people use Google Translate, but it's there for people that are bold enough to do so. I'm just not that bold yet, but just want to bring that up. That is awesome. Uh, one of the things that YPN is going to be talking about is safety. I'm kind of curious. I know um, the Super Key had um, some safety features that they were adding, um, which was kind of nice. But I know that there's also another system called Forewarn. I'm kind of curious if anybody is using any apps for safety when you're out in the field. Wow. Well, closest thing I can think of is my phone always at hand. I mean, that and common sense. But if there is something else, you know, just and I because I think safety is an oversight in an industry that's clamoring for the next deal that we can't afford to let that, you know, that's one of the topics I love teaching on is, you know, how to close up an open house. Right. You you lock the front door. You don't start in the back and find your way to the front door. And some of that stuff people don't even think about, you know, how to how to lock it up when to, you know, what when how to pull that first sign in off first. I mean, little things that when we're so busy thinking our job is to please the public that we haven't met yet, we forget. So yeah, if there are safety apps, I'd love to have that at um, 
you know, in October when we come down to reimagine. Yeah. Danielle did mention that uh, Supra is a good one and her Android has a safety feature. Um, and Doug does use forewarn. So yeah, you can you can never be too too safe out in the field. Um, you know, I I know I have walked into homes and people were running out the back door, and I knew that they were still on the property because I didn't see them leave. And sure enough, they were hiding in the garage. So thank thankfully I was you know not alone in looking at the house, but I know that people go and preview houses. So you know you never want to be caught unaware with um, somebody else in a house. Um, so be safe out there. Claudia. I do want to recommend Forward. I know our association, that's what we use. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes it's just lack of information of researching what benefits the, the applications have, the apps have for you. But I know uh, many realtors in Texas, we were just discussing this yesterday. They really, they use it a lot and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really good app. So for those that are interested, you guys may want to just research on it. And it's a really low cost for the great benefits. Yep. So I'm just going to put a, a final request out. We've got 39 people uh, watching us. Um, so if you all just want to, you know, drop your favorite app um, into the chat, that would be fantastic. And then we'll share this out to the entire Woman Up community. Uh, so I really want to thank Kathy, Kama, Claudia, Gita, Kimberly. Leslie, everyone for coming on today and a special thank you to Megan for all of her work in coordinating all of this. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth, for sharing um, that we did talk about safety tools in the California Real Estate Magazine. So that is there. Um, and like I said, before we before we end, we'll see if anybody else wants to pop any other apps into the chat so that we can we can get a, a good list, our, our own woman up vetted list of products. <laughs> so thank you so much. I don't see anything else in the chat. Have a wonderful day and we look forward to seeing you next month. Hopefully we'll see you all at Reimagine. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for putting this on. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.